Hey there, Rhoda here. Welcome to my craft room. Today I'm going to show you a pocket I kind of come up with, um, and it was inspired by the latest uh, from Pink Monarch Prints, her Sur Super Simples number no. 8. She had this gorgeous little pocket, and it was a whole page pocket like this, and it did a crossover in two spots. And I got to looking at it, and I kept seeing crossovers, crossovers. <laughs> so I got this uh, figured out, and I'm calling it a zipper pocket. And it's a very unique pocket, as you can go in the top up here, and you're going to go all the way down. You've got two sides to go uh, into as well. You can go into that side, or that one's tight, <laughs> or you can go into that side. You can also go all the way down here on each side, and you're going to the very base. So, it's very uh, multitask. If you had small tickets, you can stick them down here, a small tag here, and just as your tags get larger, you can go up in size. And I made this for my vintage Paris journal, and uh, figured <clears throat> most of these were used in the the journal somewhere. I think I made pages out of a good bit of these. So these are the cast offs from the pages. And when I'm putting them down to the size that I needed. Uh, so they are getting used up. And that's a very good thing to use up your scraps because they do like to pile up. Okay, to start this and to give it a zipper appearance, <laughs> the foil came in. So this piece of foil is five and a quarter this way and three and a quarter this way and then all I had to do was put it on my um, my cutter and put one corner in the cutting blade track and the other corner in the cutting blade track and cut well you have to make uh, allowances because you're only getting the one side so I've got two for this side now now when I go to cut again I'm going to cut that way so it's going to give me the two sides there. And then you're going to do the same with the paper. I started with a rectangle that was three by five. And I did the same thing in the cutting track to get it. In, and then I'm gluing them down to the center of the uh, the triangle. It's, it's tricky, but <laughs> you can get it on there before the glue dries. At least with Barely Arts. <laughs> Probably... Um, Art glitter is qu pretty quick to do it. Um, so once you get the two sides, I didn't show you that, you you would go over and the point is going to meet up right there. And that point is going to meet up with the end of your square there. So it's it's pretty easy to match them up. And the, the thing is, you're only going to be gluing the bottom side of the base one. That's the only one that gets glued down on the bottom side. Um, the rest of them, you do a glue dot on the two corners that meet. And that's what's going to give you the ability to go down through there. Now, see, that's my base piece because I've got the bottom done. But like with this one, you can see I've left an opening there because I've only got a dot there and a dot here. So when you go to assemble this, let me set this to the side. Um, I'm going to keep this down here at the bottom, and I think I've got them in order of how I wanted them to go on. That matches that, so let me change it. <laughs> that changes there. Okay, and I wanted the pairs to be the front, and that's why I glued that one down. Okay, so you're going to start at the top, and um, this page, uh, I wanted to go with just cream because that's the best one. Uh, that goes with my stuff. Well, you're not going to see it anyway. <laughs> so that's eight by five and a quarter. And the five and a quarter came about because when you put these two together, that's what you get. So you're covering up this whole base. So if you have scrap, you go ahead and use it. <laughs> it'll, it'll work. Okay, so this I think I decided for my top piece. And all we do is we glue the edges. And that's what we're going to do all the way down. 
is glue the edges and that's going to give you the chance to go all the way down with your hmm, here we go with your um, tags now at the end if you have to trim up oops I'm way up there at the end if you have to trim up your edges here in some way that's fine it's it's a it's a oh no where's my kitty again i started this video a second ago and he hit me no no Raylan. i've already fed you <laughs> he's been out doing guard patrol he guards the perimeters and oh i'm good i will put you on pause and i'll be right back okay i'm back he is a juicer he only likes the juice uh, even though this is French and uh, Paris themed, if you give that cat pate, he looks at you like you're talking a foreign language. Oh, so I had to stir it up for him. And I think I got him happy with crunchies. So, onward and upward, or downward in our case. So, we're going to put our little bit of glue on there. And when we're matching up, we're going to. Ooh, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> We're going to just start to cross over and hide any of that background. Uh, if a little bit of that gold is showing, that's fine. But you're wanting to, ooh, goodness. Let me move this over just a tad. There we go. I had a whole bunch of, <laughs> of uh, manila showing over there. Uh, all right. Here. It does squeeze out a little bit on you. All right, and that's our bottom piece. We're going all the way around on this one. Get that side and this side. I'm not very good aim with this glue, if you haven't noticed that yet. <laughs> uh, oh, like right there. I went traveling, but that's all right. It squishes anyway once you rub it down. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and go to the bottom and see if that works for me. Oh, yeah, I got plenty of room there. Nothing showing. So we're going to push that down. And it's, it's basically done. All you have to do now is to place it into your journal. And... I put a an, an piece of the uh, gold up here just to give more of the metallic look. You can, or you don't have to, or you can use one of your papers that you're using to go up there. That would be just as pretty. And it might um, make the metal strips stand out more. Do you notice what I did? <laughs> it, it could go either way, though. I mean, so this is fine, but I go with the long ones on this side and then over here the long ones on that side that's because I wanted this parish to show instead of this so that's why I went with this side to be the top piece and then all the rest of them have to follow suit <laughs> but this one has the same concept you can go in there anywhere you want and it goes all the way down so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to see more videos like this, please leave me a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more like it. Uh, I think, hope everybody has a great day and I'd like for you to try this and let me know how you do. Thank you.